Tuesday in physics, it hit me. I'm actually graduating. I might never see these people again. People I've shared a part of my life with. There's a lady out there, and she's a grandma, and her name is Ruth. And she's on Social Security, and she took that money from her Social Security income, and she flew 2,500 miles here to see Dennis tonight graduate. Tonight, when you hug your friends and parents, and think of all the good times we've had together in the past. Remember them. I know I remember my graduation vividly. Anticipation, pride, a little fear, I guess, all bubbling to the surface. I remember the formal march in shiny gowns, searching the crowd for loving faces, hugs and tears, I remember realizing how much school had meant to me. When my own daughter graduated this past spring, I had a chance to see the event from a whole new perspective. The tradition of the ceremony, the emotion of the day, it helped me relate just a little better to what she'd been going through. I could see it through her eyes because I'd been there myself. And graduation gave me new respect for the school. So you see, the time and money you expend are worth it. To you, it may be that time again. But to every new group of students and parents, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, an experience that can be valuable not only for students and their parents, but for faculty, staff, administration, the whole school. Dr. William Burkowski is principal of Shadow Mountain High School in Phoenix, Arizona, and a recognized authority on graduation. When you think about it, there is no other event on our campus throughout the entire school year that brings as many community members and parents to our campus as the graduation ceremony. In this one brief ceremony of a little more than an hour, more people see what our school is all about and what our students are like and what our staff is like than any other event in the entire school year. It's a tremendously important public relations moment for the school. It's one of the few traditions left in, in a society in which we live where there are so few traditions and things are changing so fast. I think it's important for us to preserve as much as we possibly can of the traditions, especially the academic traditions. One key to successful graduation is planning. Start early. Schedule some formal meetings, of course. But don't forget, some of the best ideas may come from informal discussions with students in the halls or staff members in the lounge. The important thing is to have a good idea of what you want to do while there's still time to accomplish it. We're constantly looking for ways to improve our ceremony. Each year at the end of the graduation ceremony, we start brainstorming ideas for the forthcoming year. We look at ways to enhance and improve the program. We always make sure that our faculty and staff and our students, and most importantly, know that graduation is a priority for us. The staff and the students need to feel that they're a part of the ceremony. And we do that by making them a part of the planning. The second key, involvement. In order for students, staff, and faculty to really appreciate the importance of the ceremony, they have to feel some ownership. At Shadow Mountain, that sense of ownership starts in the planning stages. New ideas are welcomed. In fact, they're sought out from all parts of the school. By the time the work begins in earnest, there will be scores of students and teachers taking part. There are a host of responsibilities that are involved in producing the ceremony, and it's important that the administration allow a great number of people to share in these responsibilities. Uh, if I see a talented musician, if I see some theatrical people that are on campus, we, we generate conversations very early in the year about what we are going to do at graduation. It becomes a very high priority, not an afterthought. And this collective ownership that all of us share for graduation makes it a very important and very successful ceremony. Once you've established a feeling of ownership, organization is a lot easier. People are more willing to give of their time and energy. Your job should be coordination. Specifics can be delegated to those with special interests and talents. And each year when we do the ceremony, we have to be sensitive to special talents on the staff, special talents 
in the student body that we can tap in order to make this ceremony special. We don't want a carbon copy of last year's ceremony. Last fall, as I was walking through campus, Jeff Talapa stopped me at the locker bays and wanted me to look at a piece of brass choir material that he'd been working on. He asked me if he could, there was any possibility we could use it for graduation, and I said, gosh, Jeff, I don't see why not. It looks terrific. One of our teachers is in charge of flowers. Another of our students uh, handles some of the seating arrangements. Students who are interested in the technical aspect of graduation become involved with theatrical companies to rent curtains. I think it's important to spend some money and hire the professionals to come in and do the sound because doing an outside performance is probably the most difficult technically that you could ever do. And if you don't have good sound, you've lost all of the meaningful parts of the ceremony. Uh, what we've gone with for several years and, and we'll be doing again this year is potted mums that will go all along the front of the staging. And there are about 15 plants. We are ordering white boutonnieres for, white carnation boutonnieres for all the male graduates and the teachers that are going to be cabin gowns. And then we're getting single yellow roses for all the girl graduates. One of the things that I really enjoy about the ceremony is the fact that the department chairs are on the speaker's platform in their caps and gowns. I think that adds a great deal of dignity to the ceremony. We have a tradition here at Shadow Mountain of having really spectacular graduations. It makes sense that we do everything possible to make the graduation ceremony as dignified and as special as it should be. A month or so before graduation, Dr. Burkowski and a few student leaders visit each senior social studies class for about 15 minutes. We have some guidelines that we share with seniors every year, guidelines that make sense to us, and would like to do that this morning. We have some expectations of you regarding dress and regarding behavior at graduation. Bridget, do you have any thoughts on that? Okay, um, what we'd like you guys to remember is just to be considerate of everyone else because when you go up there to get your diploma, you don't want everyone in the background sitting there talking or yelling or drawing attention away from you. You want to be able to have your attention in your moment. The purpose of these class meetings is to establish a tone of importance and tradition. That's another key to a successful graduation. We read in the papers and we hear stories that so many graduations are marred by students who are acting inappropriately and embarrassing the entire ceremony. We haven't had that happen in a good many years. But some schools don't take it as serious as we do, and their um, graduation ceremony isn't as nice. But if you set the tone, which we try to do each year, and also organize it so it's efficient and people know what's expected of them and so forth, that uh, you know, that makes for good behavior, just as it does in the classroom. And it's instilling that sense of respect, that you respect the students, so in return they respect you. Terry, you've got 550 kids, they're, they're rolling into the gym in a rather elevated state of emotion on rehearsal morning. How do you deal with that? We map out the floor. We lay out the floor letting people know where they stand. We have a, an adult in each line. We know who our students are in each line. Uh, you can kind of tell if somebody might have a tendency to, to goof off. The only other thing we need to do outside is make sure that we pronounce your name exactly right. We're going to have a real quick run through of every person's name. What are some of the warm spots in your heart about the way we do things? Things that you look on fondly? The students are seated so that the parents can look directly at them and have that eye contact. And every one of those facets then helps make that a more personal experience for each kid and for each parent. Our best. Speeches. The Not speeches that are given by the students. And like last year it was um, Mrs. Nagel. I mean, people cry when they hear some of the speeches given. Or I sit here in my chair tonight and I hold my diploma as if it was gold. Well, Todd was right. Your education is your gold. These are people who are truly involved in the district and with the students and with the staff, and what they say is pertinent 
and then being the person that gave the girls the roses coming off the stage. I love that part and my participation in the ceremony. The department chairs form an honor guard for the graduates to pass through. And I think that's one of the most emotional parts of the ceremony. Um, there, I've seen students burst into tears. I have too. And I think that's, that's really special. Another thing I think is that it, it helps create a bond between the students and the faculty to kind of illustrate that we're all in this together. I think as a part of that, more and more teachers are attending graduation every year because of that sense of closeness and the importance of the event. We allow the emotions to work. We allow the emotions to flow. We don't try to stifle them. And it's a, a wonderful ending to the ceremony. The graduation ceremony at Shadow Mountain High is an event that the school and the community really look forward to each year. Yours can be too, but don't try to do it all the first year. Building a tradition takes time. But if you start planning early and involve as many people as possible in the process, if you organize your goals and delegate clearly defined tasks, and if you set a positive tone and communicate the importance of the event, Graduation can become the most valuable and meaningful event on your school calendar. A real celebration, a memorable tradition. And a lot of you grandmas and granddads and moms and dads are here because you love these people and we appreciate that. And walking around with the students and shaking hands after the ceremony and, and hugging students and so forth is a, a very rewarding aspect of what we do. The feeling among the faculty and the kids, I think, is a closeness that you don't think of as in uh, a school with nearly 2,500 students. Now think to yourself, this isn't the end of something good, but the beginning of something great.